What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Following the new rule that the NBA implemented to help teams who are battling COVID-19, the Lakers have made a couple of new additions to their roster. Earlier today, they signed former Laker Jamario Jones to a 10-day contract and current South Bay Laker Mason Jones to a two-way contract. We'll talk about what they could provide to the team and then discuss my overall thoughts on them as well. But to begin, I think I need to clarify that Mason Jones will be replacing either Shondi Brown or Jay Huff on a two-way contract. NBA teams are only allowed two two-way contracts, and that means either Shondi Brown or Jay Huff have been let go of their two-way contract. And as of right now, we do not officially know which one of them was cut, but I would be willing to bet that it was probably Shondi Brown, because with their only healthy center being DeAndre Jordan, I find it very unlikely that Jay Huff was the one who got cut between them. But with all that being said, let's begin by reviewing Jamario Jones, and if you do not remember, he played for the Lakers at the end of the 2018-2019 NBA season. He did not get to play very much, but he did average over 8 rebounds per game in only about 24 minutes played that year, and rebounding and defense are definitely the two best things that he does. And to give you a larger sample of why you can call him a great rebounder, he has averaged over 10 rebounds per game during his time in the G League, and for a 6'5 player, that is incredibly impressive. He is not that tall, not overly athletic, and only weighs 175 pounds, but yet he continues to grab rebounds at a very high rate, and for him, it all comes down to effort. He may not be the most talented player overall, but you can always count on him to give 100% effort, and honestly, they really needed a player like that right now. The number of times that they have fallen behind in games due to a lack of effort is not something that they should be proud of, but a lack of effort will never be a problem for Jamario Jones. And because of that, I am completely on board with giving Jamario Jones a 10 day contract. It is never a bad idea to add a player that you can count on to give you 100% effort, and it only helps that he is a good rebounder and defender too. But now moving on to looking at Mason Jones, they brought him in with a two-way contract rather than a 10-day contract, and after how well he had been playing for them in their G League, it is really not that big of a shocker that they picked him up for that contract. He had been averaging over 18 points per game, over 7 assists per game, and all while shooting over 51% from the field and 42% from the 3-point line. He has been an incredibly efficient shooter, and really all-around player for them as well. He does not seem to have one big flaw in his game on offense, and it is not hard to tell why they promoted him. And with the Lakers being without a lot of their shooting guard depth, adding him was a very good idea. They are currently without Avery Bradley, Malik Monk, Taylon Horton Tucker, and Kent Bazemore. I never would have thought that I would be saying that they need more shooting guard depth, but here we are, and in reality, giving Mason Jones a two-way contract was a very good long-term move for them as well. He does seem to have a lot of potential, and he is clearly capable of contributing at the NBA level on offense. However, he will need to prove himself defensively if he hopes to remain with them long-term. As we know, Frank Vogel values defense more than anything else from his perimeter players, and if Jones cannot do that, then unfortunately I do not see him getting a big opportunity to play. However, he does appear to at the very least be capable of developing into a solid defender, so I do think he will get a good shot with their team. And if he can prove to be a solid defender, along with being capable of knocking down open 3 point shots, he could very well be a long term fit for them. In conclusion though, I like the addition of Mason and Jamario Jones. I think they could have probably used a little more depth in other areas, but I do like what they can both individually bring to their team. But with that, that will conclude my thoughts on the Lakers' new additions, and what do you guys think? How do you feel about them adding Mason and Jamario Jones? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. And if you have not already, be sure to join the official Discord for the channel. I'll have it linked both on the screen and in the video description. And if you want additional NBA content from me on YouTube, head over to my second channel called JSM Plus. I make more diverse NBA content over there, so if you think you might enjoy that, be sure to check it out. 
That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to everyone who took the time to watch until the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.